Hello, dear viewers. Just I'm going to start today how to uh, learn MS Word with some tips and tricks. Okay, just MS Word. Just if you press C equal to then enter, it will automatically just create one line. Okay, so my first topic is let's find, replace, and go to find, replace, and go to these three topics is very much important. So for testing or practicing with three topics we need to bring some text so there is one option to bring some text with using some function what is that just press equal r a n d dot old rand for random just first bracket and first bracket close okay you will get some text for this text is for practicing purpose only so what do you mean by fine? See, if there are a thousands of words or thousands, hundreds of pages, you would like to find out any word in, within this document. So how you can find out? It will be very difficult to find reading every line or every character to find out any word. So in that case, what you will do? Just you can get from home, you will find, you will get fine here. So you can use shortcut, control F. Control F, Control F for find. Control F. So, see Control plus F for find. Okay. So you will get one navigation bar in the right side. So you have to write down the word which you would like to find out. See, example, I am writing down here fox. So it will find out the all fox. The number of foxes, it will find out. So it will also also show how many number of foxes has been found up, found see example nine matches it is it has been you will get here nine matches that means nine fox is there so you can close the navigation bar in every applications you can see example word excel powerpoint whatever even in browser also you can in browser also you can get the you can use control f for finding see example Sometimes you would like to find out any word in browser, Google Chrome or whatever. Just you can write down Control F, then write down the text in browser also. Okay. So our second topic is replace. Replace. See example, you have created one document ten years or five years back. See again, you would like to create another document. See example, you have created one agreement with some uh, factory or factory. So again, you have to create another agreement with some other factories. In that case, what you will do? You have to create, you have to create new documents again. You have to write down the all terms and conditions. So instead of that, you can what you can create, you open the old document. Then, as all terms and conditions are same, we can replace the factory name, old factory name to new one. Then it it will be very easy. So what you can do, control S, control S is for replace. So find what, see that will be the old factory name. See example, in that, in my case, in our case, what you can do, fox. Fox, we would like to replace all fox by using cat. So in that case, what you have to do, just you have to write down fox in find and replace with cat. What it will do, it will replace all fox by using what cat if you click on the replace it will replace only one first one if you click replace all all fox will be replaced by cat see example it has shown nine replacement has been made okay close see the now for there is no fox fox has been replaced by cat okay so you can use shortcut control plus h for replace or you can get in menu also just click on replace button okay so now go to see example you have 500 pages of one documents or books just you'd like to go go to page number 20 so normally what we do just to scroll the scroll down the mouse or you can press scroll 
bar down to get the 20 number pages. Now it is very to find out 20 number pages. What you have to do? Just press Control, Control G. It will bring the dialog for go to. So as we have no page, we have only single page. You can what you can do? You can go for line. See example, line. See example, line number five. Now if you click on go to and close, cursor will automatically blink. In see, it is blinking in line number five. One, two, three, four, and five. So, if there is a pages in that case, what you can do? Control G, then you can select page number, write down 20. If you'd like to go to 20 number page, then go to it, will directly jump to 20 number pages. So, instead of uh, going by scroll down or mouse click, we can directly go using Control plus Control plus G. Okay, then find replace good okay format painter format painter this is also one important tools in ms what see example what we can do if sometimes if you are going to write down your or, uh, write, uh, design your cv or writing down your cv what you can do see we have the career career objective then education see education experience present address permanent address if there are multiple headings same headings what do we do normally? We format some in other different formats. See, example, like if you can make it bold, control B for bold, control I for Italy, control E for underline. And you can put also color also. See, just for our example, this is career objective. What you can do in our this case, what you have to do? You can you have to change formatting for education also. See how much it, you have to do five jobs control b control i control u then color so instead of doing doing that what we can do is very simple just place the cursor from where you would like to pick up the format then click on format painter click you will get one icon then if you click on education it will automatically change to your given format see example education now question is you can experience see example experience see example you can apply only once now if you would like to apply for multiple times in that case what you will do just select double click on format painter so just click then if there are any other line also see example quick over jumps even you can select the total number of line so it becoming same format so now what you will do you have to remove after completing the formatting you can you have to remove the icon see example this is the icon so just click on two as they are removing icons just click on format painter single click otherwise escape escape on keyboard see example okay Jao format painter so this is very important topics in MS Word, so exam. Then watermark. This is also an important. What do you mean by watermark? See example. In some cases, we, we need to write down the uh, your names or copyright in the every pages. Or so in that case, if you make photocopy or Xerox copy, your name will be displayed or his or her name will be displayed in every pages. Or so now, if you'd like to remove that line or the his signature. Or his name or copyright so what you can do you have to if you put one blank paper on that you can it will be it will be removed so in watermark what you can do we can put your name or your comments in the background of every pages of documents see so that is called watermark now how you can do that you your name, your comments, or your contents at every page, background, top your every page. So just, just click on page layout, watermark, watermark. Then see, there are some confidential, confidential, do not copy. That is predefined, predefined contents. So now you'd like to set up your own name or own text. So just click on custom watermark, custom watermark. Then it, see, 
there are three options picture and text watermark just you have to click on text watermark now you will get text asap asap is a meaningful word just as soon as possible sometimes we write down uh, uh, use this asap in some letters example please write down asap that means as soon as possible now if you write down your name here see example biman biman Borua. okay just if you click on okay see example you will get oh see there are biman Borua is behind the text now if you create one another page how you can create just pressing control enter you it will automatically create new page or cursor will be transferred to the next page see see at every page you can get the watermark so now if you would like to you can make some formatting also see example just like format custom watermark see you can change the color you if you un remove the semi transparent it will it will just make dark so now we would like to set up the company logos behind the text or at every page so how you can do we have to set picture watermark just select watermark custom watermark then now you have to select picture order mark. Now select picture. Select picture. Then see example. You can choose from any location, any image. See example. You are searching for one example logo. This is this logo is for Trip Shava. See example Trip Shava logo. Okay. Now, okay. See behind the text there is your logo now it is it is becoming very big one so we have to reduce the size of the picture so how we can reduce the size just again custom watermark there is a scaling in a scaling you can reduce the picture depend as you wish just see example 50 percent okay it will reduce to 50 percent see some sometimes you can see that that picture is still you have to reduce the uh, below than 50 percent that in in that case what you can do you can do just um, custom watermark now you can write down the, if you would like to reduce then 50 percent what you can do you have to write down because there is no option to select if you'd like to reduce the size then 50 percent okay see so there is also option for a, if you uh, make remove water uh, wash out it will deep deep color you will get the deep color of that picture okay so watermark is over now protect another important document protect documents with password so protect documents with passwords this is one important items or topics see example you have one secret documents you would like to protect so that no third party can see your contents or read your contents in that case how what you can do you have to protect the documents with password so now we will show you how to protect your documents with password okay so be, before that we can do one thing also how to create pdf pdf create pdf means portable document for it create pdf so this is also one important also before going to protect documents with password we can create pdf file save as so you can write down the file name here demand okay save as type see there is a different different options or different formats now you can select pdf if you save now it will be converted it will save as pdf format that's all now you can open in any acrobat reader using acrobat reader that pdf file so now our question is how to protect your documents with password so that no unauthorized person can read or see your contents document contents the file save as write down your file name here you can select the locations that is default location is document you can choose d or e or f whatever just now tools general options now one two three four just write the number password 
just only open no need to write down on modify if you write down on modify it will ask for open at the time of opening two times so just write down password on open then press ok again re enter password because all every whatever when wherever password you you are going to enter your password every times it will ask for repeat password okay now we have to put the same password one two three four now okay see now we are going to save that document in document format file name biman okay just save so now how you will see whether it has it has been password protected or not we can do one thing just file close now that file has been closed already now you can try whether it has been password protected or not just file click on the file name see that is now password protected so one two three four okay so we have already set up the password now your file is protected now one thing is see example you have protected your resume but whenever you are applying for any job you have to send the resume through email but if that is password protected that receiver cannot read your contents or read your cv in that case you have to remove the password so how to remove remove password so same way just you have to open the file with password you have to open the file with password okay then again same way file save as if name is there tools general options see that all password is make, made as dot now remove that password okay again you have to click on save see now your file is uh, just close you can see there is no password in that file see it is directly opening so there is no protection so so you can set up the password you can remove the password 